Let's get the read now from former White House Office of Management and Budget Director Russ Vogt. Russ, great to see you. Thanks for being You know, Larry has a genius for stating the obvious. I mean, that's something that, that we all recognize. But what the real question is, what are we going to do about it? Well, he's brought a lot of credibility to this issue. He's one of the first on their side of the aisle to articulate this was a problem. And the, the, the difficulty for the White House is that they have a number of, of people, of senior economic people, that have, were, were saying that this was not going to be a problem. And, it, of course, it began a problem, a serious one that the American people are dealing with. And I don't think it's going away right now. I think the, the reality is that this last uh, month they got a little bit of good news as a result of gas prices. But if you look at the, the, the size of the, the component in these forecasts that, that shelter takes, the shelter is up 20% every month. And so like we, that's, a, that's a situation where that has not really been in fact, I impacted into the inflation models in a way that I think is going to come to fruition yeah. in, the, in the months ahead. Well, the thing about Larry is he, he, you're right. He did forecast inflation as a result of the, uh, the original American Rescue Plan and some other things that the administration, that the original BBB plan. But then he goes ahead and says that this bill's okay and it might actually decrease inflation while other people say no. I, I just don't know how more government is going to solve the problem. It's not. He's still a Democrat. So, of course, it's, <laughs> it's, when it comes to their, their main priorities, he's going to be on the wrong side of it. And, and the reality is that this bill will make it worse. Uh, you're going to have more spending in the economy. You're going to have a lot of tax increases that are, are a part of this package. You're going to have people paying more for taxes because of the 87,000 new IRS agents that they're trying to come up with uh, interesting ways to say that those aren't going to impact people, um, the small businesses or the, the engine of the economy, uh, the reality is people are going to be paying a lot more, and that's going to come at the cost of investment in the, in the economy and paying people additional wages. And so this bill will do everything that, that is, 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 is wrong for the economy, uh, and unfortunately it's something that it looks like it's on the, on the precipice of being passed and enacted. Yeah. You know, you used a key word there. You said reality. In reality, we have experience with these things. In reality, Obama and Biden uh, came in during a recession. Uh, they increased taxes and increased regulations, which coming out of a recession is, is exactly the wrong thing to do. As a result, over eight years, they had a, a growth rate that was the lowest coming, out of a, of coming into a recovery that we've had since World War II, 1.6%. Ronald Reagan, on the other hand, also came in during a, a very bad recession. He lowered tax rates, lowered regulations as a result. In his eight years, we had a growth rate of 3.6%. So you got 1.6% growth rate versus 3.6% growth rate. Obviously, one series of, of policies does better than the other. No, no question about it. This is not hard. This is, this is basic economic history that we have learned from. And, and one of the reasons we're in this problem is that they ignored those fundamentals with regard to the extent to which spending and inflating the money supply will lead to inflation. And they're, they, they're not changing their economic policies. They, they are continuing to regulate. They're continuing to, re to increase or decrease the supply of energy so that people have to lower how much energy they use. And I think you were spot on when you said this is in, impacting the calculus of families that choose not to get on the road. And unfortunately, we've got more of that to come in the years ahead with this administration. Yeah. You know, what they're also doing is increasing the authoritarian side of government in, in many ways. And let's just stick to the economy. Uh, this supersizing the IRS, an authoritarian answer. This is how we're going to balance the budget. And then they actually had the nerve to take out an advertisement. The IRS did a job notice. Uh, that they put up that says, among other things uh, that qualify you for the job, to carry a firearm and be willing to use deadly force if necessary. Now, the IRS got so much feedback from that, they took it down. But that kind of shows you, a, a, I think, a kind of a dangerous tendency towards an authoritarian solution to the econ economic problems. 
Yeah, the, the American people would be horrified to know the extent of all the different agencies that are armed and dangerous. And the IRS just gave them more indication to be more aware of that. And of course, they're not actually going to change the job that they're hiring for. They're just changing the job description that they put online. And the IRS does not need these these vast number of 87,000 agents. I mean, what on earth? What do you need all of those people for unless you're going to audit as far as the eye can see? It leave no audit behind in this administration. I mean, that's what they're arming for. And of course, when you're in an audit situation, you, you're, you're proving that you that somehow you're you're innocent. And it's not as if that you have an, a, a strong ability in those environments to be able to present all the documents. You're you're up against it in those. And the American people don't want that. And they want to be able to live their life, build their businesses, strengthen their communities. And this is their approach is to say, hey, no, you need to keep paying more taxes based on, on questionable uh, gray areas in the tax law. Right, right. By the way, a six-fold increase. When Americans are tightening their belts, they're talking about loosening the IRS belt by a six-fold increase over a 10-year period. I mean, that's an extraordinary supersizing of the IRS. Russ Vogt, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Well, it's been 